Uh, that was the woman eating yeah, the ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you watch My Strange Addiction? Yeah. Did you see the one with the black lady? There are usually like half of them are black ladies. Stunt Brain says, uh, black woman who bathes in bleach every single day. Mm. Uh-huh. Go get her. Uh, seeing the woman licking her finger and dipping it into the ashes and then into her mouth. Well, now he's back to the other one. Got to be seen to be believed. There has to be clips somewhere. There you go. You think it's actual ashes? From the from her dead fucking boyfriend, or are they uh, just probably? Where was there a switch? The old switcheroo. Oh, here it is. My strange addiction, TLC. Do the dramatic opener. Get it? Hey, I'm 26 years old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee, You're and I'm addicted cunt. to carrying around my husband's urn. How much did he own? I what knew a fat that self. was coming. What I take my husband everywhere oh. to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's Pause me. that. So I'll tell you where she doesn't take her husband's urn oh. to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> How about you prop that fucking that vat of ashes up on a fucking treadmill, fatso? <laughs> Can you go back further? Says, Why is she eating her husband's ashes? I wonder if he died of age. She's trying to drop a few pounds. <laughs> Hoping this will rub off. She uh, she talks to the urn. Yeah, yeah. that's why I told Santa say back to up. You know what, dude? <laughs> dude you know. <laughs> yeah, she's talking to it. Mm. I take my husband everywhere. To the grocery store. Shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's neat. To the movies. Out to eat. She's got to pay. Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. Hold on, like, pause. Baby, I love you. She, Did she, she just put a seatbelt around the ashes? Yeah, she mm -hmm. buckled in the urn so oh, it wouldn't fly through the windshield. She probably just want to stop short and have her husband spill all over the fucking BMW mats. <laughs> spill all over the mats. <laughs> yeah. How awful is that? Your fucking, your beloved is in the rug along with dog <laughs> shit and fucking cat hairs. <laughs> And McDonald's wrapper. McDonald's French wrapper. fry or two. Right, right. Yeah. Or probably quite a few with I don't know why I hate this woman. That's really sad. That she's not really lonely. Sad. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. She's lonely. Let's see. Let's see if it gets sad. Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. Good night, baby. I love you. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. Why? And then they when I cook, I cook what he likes. Why? I don't eat it, but I cook for him. If I'm watching TV, he's there with me. You want to watch this? He applies this place. If somebody She's, says, hey. She just this, turned to the box and went, you want to watch this? This fat idiot. <laughs> you know what it is? She understands how hard it's going to be to replace him. Yeah. She's a fatso. <laughs> I get it. She knows she got lucky and she's not going to get lucky twice. She's treating that the way I would treat, like, if, say there was a stripper who's like, whose big problems in life was that her pussy was too big to fit in her pants and she drooled a lot while she sucked dick. And if she died, I'd probably carry her ashes around too and talk to them. <laughs> Her pussy wouldn't fit in her pants. She had special pants because her fucking. She was really skinny, but her her pussy just wouldn't fit in her trousers. <laughs> you also saw that she put lettuce in the refrigerator. You know that's rotting. Oh yeah, yeah of that course, because that was his. Her. He used to eat that. Yeah, not her. The turkey burgers for him that she won't eat. Puddle of AIDS got the the kicker to this whole thing. If it's not in the video, so go ahead. But I cook for him. If I'm watching TV. He's there with me. You want to watch this? No. If somebody says, hey, who is that? I'm like, oh, this is my husband. So Some people laugh. They think I'm wants playing. Attention. But it, yeah. I mean, it's serious. It's my husband. Casey and oh, Sean boy. were married oh, in 2009 oh, no. after dating for 10 Hold months. on a second. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what crime was he shot in the commission uh, of? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, I, I want to know how he suddenly died. He's a black guy, but did he have to marry the fat white girl? Jesus, dude. Oh. He's a better looking guy than she is. A and girl. how can you tell that he's now ashes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if she, uh, eating the ashes, she gets lead poisoning. <laughs> well, <laughs> she she get probably shot. got shot. Or how about if she just put some fucking cocoa butter on the ashes and all of a sudden a real person would appear? <laughs> like, oh, it's just dry, honey. We <laughs> yeah, Pat writes from Monaki, uh, instant husband, just add water. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> Dating for 10 months. Mm -hmm. Everything I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me, and it felt so great. They what? fell in love and... Was he a giant cupcake? Soulmates from day one. Oh, the the two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time Casey was truly, truly happy. Their marriage was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. 
picture perfect. The doctor came in. He probably was fucking, he had an asthma attack carrying her lunch up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> you know how mad he was that she fucking put on all that weight? It was picture perfect. Yeah. Was, unless, unless he was hitting her, yelling, you fat bitch, stay home. The doctor came in, and the look on his face was telltale. Yes, he was happy was for the, the day, guy. The day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. Oh, baby, I'm missing you. Though Casey she's initially found box. comfort by having no. her husband's ass. That box actually has her shoes in them, her and she's box. never, she hasn't seen them since she bought them. <laughs> so she's lucky. <laughs> she misses that. I miss you guys so much. I've seen you in so long. Her shoes are just crying in the box. Please leave us in here. <laughs> don't put us, don't put us on those ham hocks with toes on them. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't put those fleshy <laughs> battleships at <in> us again. <laughs> oh, stitching's all burst out. <laughs> Her shoes. I bet she loses shoes because they they run away. <laughs> Her shoes they hang just run away. Hang themselves from the closet door. <laughs> at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. Uh-oh. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe wipe them off, because that's my husband. I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers. Like you do everything else. <laughs> yeah. Like cake batter, my husband's ashes, paint thinner, <laughs> fucking marmalade. She loves licking stuff off those pudgy fingers. She looks, she looks like a fucking aardvark fucking attacking an anthill. Anything that gets on those fat fingers is fair game. <laughs> I, lick, I ate my wedding ring. I ate the remote control because it was by my fingers. Uh, one time my fingers brushed a cheesecake and I ate the entire box including the cardboard. Fucking monster. She's a food addiction. Yeah. She just snacks on her husband when she's out of other stuff. <laughs> you think this is real? Uh, yeah. I hope so. I, 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 yeah, I think. Okay. What a creep. So I just licked it off my fingers, and here I am today, almost two months later, and I can't stop. I'm eating my husband. Come on. Jesus Christ. Just kill her. That's disgusting. Just kill her. What use does she have for the rest of uh, us? None. Um, so Puddle of AIDS, who runs a really good website called tedwilliamshead.com, if you're into sports blogs. Oh. Really, he does a very good job. And he puts all this stuff up there. You want to guess how... Her, her husband weighed six pounds, the ashes. Yeah. Want to guess so? Uh, what he weighs now? Uh oh. How, He's losing weight. And she's how much she weight. ate? Yeah. Um, like a pound. Give so, yourself a bell. Is there a pound left? No, she, no, no. She's eight, eating. Oh, a she's pound. eating a pound of her husband. So now her husband's down to five pounds. She's five eating pounds. a pound of ashes already. Wow. God, in two months. What the fuck is that one about, Jimmy? You know this shit. She's a, a food bit. addict, and she just can't let go. But it's hard. You know what? It's it's like. I have more sympathy for her because it's only been two months and a sudden asthma attack and the guy's just dead. She and she's a big fat lady and she had it. That's a rough one. I'm not saying that How she's not a... How much did you miss someone that you only knew for two years? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> but is it? Yeah, it is. It's not like they were together 15, 20 years. But it's so sudden. She probably saw their whole Thank life. Thank God he wasn't there. around to see this shit. Ugh. Then again, he had to die for her to do this. I think so when they I met, he realized that. she'll be eating me someday. Probably. Uh, there were probably some kind of signs. Yeah, she'd be <laughs> nibbling on his toes like macadamias. Probably pulling skin <laughs> off his body while he slept or something, yeah. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> macadamias. Ugh. Fucking crazy people, though. I saw some woman eating a rock. You can't eat a rock. That's yeah, impossible. It, she she would gather up these rocks, but the rocks swallow I saw, them or chew them. No, she would she would. No, that's impossible. Chew them, but there was a certain type of rock that I remember seeing somewhere in like the, the north, like like in South Dakota and shit. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of mica in it, and they're they're almost like you crumble. Your them very body easy. can tell you're pregnant before you can. Oh so can no! Really? Of course it can. Yeah, they're very uh, crumbly, and she eats those. Really? Yeah.
Rocks? And she goes out to the side of the road and just looks for rocks and finds them and just starts eating them. <laughs> people are like, people ask me if, you know, eh, animal goes to the bathroom on it. Who cares? Goes to the bathroom. <laughs> does she, animal doesn't go to the bathroom. Does she wash it first? No. She likes the the dirt taste. Is this her? Yeah. This is the fucking, another, another slob. I'm addicted to eating rocks. Ugh, fat neck. I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no attention of She's biting into buffalo. it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. Imagine hanging out with this fucking... The grittiness fucking of it <laughs> and the earthy taste. I She's actually fucking like nibbling a rock. on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body can't handle what you're putting inside of it, it's going to rebel against you. Teresa's favorite what type of rock like. is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. Yeah. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. Mm. This is about the size I like it because um, yeah. it's not as hard to swallow. Me too. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth. And oh, how great it would be if she choked. Oh, that would be fantastic. It, she's giving it a blowjob. Get the taste off of it. How? Isn't that hard to watch her chew, biting into yeah. a rock? No. Eats up to two pounds of rocks a day. You know what her shits I'm must be like? Yeah. So oh my god. Doesn't really bother me. What a pig. These giant rock dumps. <laughs> Go splice in the toilet. It's like a fucking depth charge going off. Her fucking shits <laughs> all look like the thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking creep. Ugh. I hate those people. I do, too. I just hope she chokes on a rock. Because someone has to deal with that I know. shit. She'd probably be great to have in the yard by the pool, though. I mean, you would never step on pebbles. <laughs> right. <laughs> just That's good. Snacking away. On your yeah. heel. Anything worse than stepping on a pebble oh, with your heel. terrible. But uh, you know, like, family get-togethers, oh. Thanksgiving or something, they... They put out a plate of rocks for this beast. You think they do that? Or of course. Like, There's they always enablers. It. We all have them in our families. Stuffing's just like fucking driveway gravel. <laughs> right. Just shovel it into the turkey. No one makes her cook at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. She just no. puts rocks in everything. Yeah. Here, Here's a pound cake. It's a pound of rocks. <laughs> 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 Dummy. It's a brick. <laughs> I just like to chew. You imagine fucking sitting there and talking to her about something, and she's fucking gnawing on a rock. I'd have to go. Will you stop doing yeah, that? You're doing. You're annoying. <laughs> Quit eating rocks, miss. <sighs> fucking big fat Churchill neck. <laughs> I hate her. There's uh, there's plenty of those. Though. I've I've seen my strange addiction. Probably everyone. There's some black chick that's with oh, some the couch white guy. One? No, no. This one, uh, she just walks around with a pillow. Oh, all yeah. the time, and she's had the pillow since she was a kid oh, when yeah. she was sexually assaulted by an uncle or something. <laughs> and I guess the pillow was like the only thing. Like, as she's getting railed, she fucking just looked at the pillow, and now that pillow is like her savior. He probably put it over it her face to keep her quiet, and it gets her wet when she yeah. holds it. <laughs> she remembers her uncle's dick fucking removing her childhood in one awful swipe. Mm -hmm. I dated a girl who would always have a little pillow like that. Really? Yep. She dragged it around with her? No, but she she just throw her. the pillow away. What's gonna I'd happen? To I her. would love to. She takes it everywhere. I know that when I touch it, everything is going to be better. Tamara has been addicted to her pillow since she was four years old. It smells oh, sure. like this she carries it at least eighteen hours a day and treats it as a best friend. I'm a dick. Well, my pillow actually has a name, and it's Boo. Hey, Boo. Boo got Something shot. About Boo got shot. In my hands. That's the main thing. Who wants to date her? Uh, some dopey white guy. He's a big My muscle pillow head. goes in the car with me. Grocery store, movie theaters, daily walk. Oh, I don't shit. bring it in the restroom area. This pillow won't yell in the theater. <laughs> it's always in my eyesight. Even if I can't touch it, 
is around me. She I props it, it up while she's if playing in the yard. Whoever saw me with it, I wouldn't care. I'm not ashamed. Tamara bought her pillow at an antique shop in 1982. She has never washed it. Ugh. It's got some years on it, you know. It's got it's got some miles on Period it. Period blood. But it's not dirty, and it's well, it might be a little dirty, but it's not stinky. I prom- I don't like when people say it's stinky. I was just getting very disgusted by the pillow. It was just black and dark. Like, oh, why do you need to like hire the pillow? <laughs> There's a part of me that is concerned about uh, oh, my God. older sister. Uh, addiction to her pillow. I never be around anybody besides her to have their pillow. I never like, be around anybody but her. Do you feel grammar. like your She's addiction pretty. is something that you need to work on? I'm okay. And you don't think that they must can love the fact that she's your, with that white guy. <laughs> no, because I feel like if you want me, truly me, then you're going to accept my pillow because that is part of me. Me and this pillow got history before you came. Pillow is very important to her. Gives a shit. I can't watch this show. She's eating drywall. There's people that eat fucking. Uh, yeah. Well, the couch is the best. Couch, one. fucking. Like George the Animal Steel. Yeah. She's going through her couch the same Foam way. Foam rubber. Foam rubber. Uh, this one couch, woman, right? it was like cornstarch or something. She would just eat spoonfuls of it. <laughs> and you gotta wonder what their dumps are like. My name's Adele. I'm 30 years old. A lot of black chicks. I'm from Bradenton, Florida. And my addiction is eating couch cushions. Oh my god. She eats the foam. My earliest memory of eating cushion, I was about 10 years old, and (laughs) my cousin. (laughs) My father, that's all we need to hear. And my face was being pushed into the cushion (laughs) so I (laughs) could gnaw it out so I could breathe. (laughs) <laughs> I guess we know it. Yeah, what was happening there? Sure, same as the sure. pillow. Girl. 